A few months ago, head of the Polish mod, Marius Baschak signed an agreement concerning the acquisition of 32 AW149 helicopters for the Polish armed forces. The aircraft are procured within the framework of the mod's Perkis program. According to the information released by the Polish Ministry of Defense, the helicopters would be fitted with a myriad of sensors, guns, guided and unguided missiles rockets, and a self-protection suite. The aircraft would be used both for troop transport, as well as in a role of an air support asset. This is a helicopter that Polish have procured in a heavily armed version, featuring ATGMs procured from another manufacturer. This would be a helicopter fitted with weapons of the best quality, said Minister Baschak. At the same time, he said that the acquisition of 32 aircraft, along with training and logistics packages and simulators, would come for PLN 8.25 billion of taxpayers' money. The Augustusland AW149 is an advanced, medium-lift multi-role military helicopter developed by Augustusland, now Leonardo. The AW149 is a state-of-the-art multi-purpose military helicopter designed from the ground up to meet the most demanding needs of the armed forces. The AW149 features an open architecture mission system that enables the quick integration of customer-specific avionics, mission, and weapon systems to carry out a wide variety of missions, such as troop transport, resupply external load lift, medical and casualty evacuation, search and rescue and special forces operations, close air support armed escort, command and control. The AW149's advanced equipment, armament, and systems technologies, combined with its agility, range endurance and high power margins, and the highest levels of safety and survivability, provide defense users with high operational availability, mission effectiveness and fleet cost efficiency. Equipped with a single-pilot NVG-compatible low-workload glass cockpit with 4 8x10 color displays and state-of-the-art human-machine interface. In terms of weaponry, the Italian chopper, the AW149 can carry, internally, 2x sniper rifle and 2x 7.62mm machine guns, and externally, 2x 12.7mm gun pot as well as 2x air ground-to-missile launchers. Poland will become the third country to acquire this helicopter. Before her, this was already done by the police and army of Thailand and the Navy of Egypt. These are the main operators, but Italy has also acquired a small amount of this helicopter. The AW149 was proposed as the next helicopter of the Royal Air Force of Great Britain. For the British, Leonardo offered the same functionalities, but with some improvements, such as the integration of radar, as found in the Saab Gripen and Eurofighter Typhoon aircraft, as well as laser devices integrated into the American fighter of the fifth-generation F-35. The Russian threat along NATO's eastern front has prompted alliance members to top up defense budgets, accelerate weapons procurement plans, and, in the instance of former Warsaw Pact clients and Soviet satellites such as Poland, the Czech Republic, and the Baltic nations, rapidly reduced the Russian-sourced stockpiles of military hardware still in service with their respective armed forces. More than 55% in the past eight years. They say the problem is efficiency, not money. For Poland, this means reducing and replacing its armed forces Soviet legacy helicopter fleet composed primarily of Mil-Mi-8 and Mi-17 transport utility and Mi-24 attack helicopters.
Poland's Ministry of National Defense has been pursuing a new build medium lift utility helicopter platform to replace the aging Mi-8 and Mi-17 fleets since early in the previous decade. This project has undergone multiple permutations. Under the first outline, in March 2012, the project called for acquiring 26 helicopters. The total was then revised upward in September 2012 to include a broader complement of 70 units, 48 for tactical troop transport, 16 for search and rescue, and 6 for anti-submarine warfare, before being revised a third time to a reduced total of 50 helicopters. The AW149 acquisition will provide Poland with not only a much-needed new helicopter platform, but also industrial work share, as the new units will be assembled by Leonardo's Polish subsidiary PZL Swidnik. Along with the remainder of its Perkis acquisition program, Poland must also begin expediting its purchase of a new fleet of attack helicopters, 32 units, under its Kruk, Raven, program. The Boeing A64 Apache and Bell A1Z Viper are considered likely options to win the Kruk bid. The program foresees a first squadron, 18 units, being delivered by 2026. AW149 would be procured within the framework of the Perkis multi-role support helicopter procurement program. According to the technical dialogue, that program assumed that 32 helicopters in three different variants would be acquired, combat support training, command, and electronic warfare reconnaissance. The AW149 helicopters do have a good reputation, as any equipment that the Polish Armed Forces currently order has. The helicopters have been developed at Leonardo, while the Zwidnik facility is one of the leading facilities established by the group, Baschak recalled. He added that the agreement signed shall be seen as a contribution to the development of the Polish aerospace and defense industry, including the facility in Zwidnik. A modern helicopter would be received by the land forces. The first ones would be received next year. It is important in the context of the international situation or the ongoing war in Ukraine. Considering that, I have decided to accelerate the modernization of the Polish Armed Forces and procure modern equipment. The AW149 helicopter is an example here," Baschak concluded.